Hi guys, this video is gonna be about what I've been doing recently. Get my makeup on as quick as possible. I have been traveling a lot, lot recently. So, I've just been doing my makeup from this bag. So this, this video is just gonna be about, I, sorry. Wow, I had a lot hard time explaining that. But, let's get, get started. So, usually when I wake up, I just have my coffee and maybe some breakfast and then that's it. When I'm really, really in a rush, I don't even wash my face. I know that's like really bad, but whatever. Why isn't this coming out? I just literally take the foundation, dot it on my face. I'm sorry about this background but I'm not in my usual spot right now. I have to make do what I got. Oh, um, and then I'm using powder. This is the True Match L'Oreal face powder and I use it all over my face because I am an oily beast. So, I'm gonna set that face. I'm definitely a gel eyeliner fan for the eyebrows. I like my brow to be a little bit more sharp and defined, especially in the bottom. I use a mixture of the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour in Creamy Beige. It's not beige, it's brown. I don't know why they call it beige. And the, because this is too light for my hair color, I also mix in a little bit of this Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Sapia Ink. This is what I used to wear by itself when my hair was black. But because my hair is like a middle brown right now, I mix these two together a little bit to put it on my hand like that. I also take a bit of the Bobbi Brown, put it on the back of my hand. Just like that, so it's defined right there. I take some brow powder. Now this is Brow Artist Genius Kit in medium to dark brown. This comes with a little tiny brush that I really like. And use this powder to fill in the front of my brow and the top of my eyebrow. I know some of you may think that this is a lot of makeup steps, but I've just come to the realization not long ago that I think it's so important to put your best foot forward in life. I'm not saying that you should get ready every day for two hours, but you know what you feel confident with. And if you feel confident having your makeup done, then do your makeup. I just think that people always get noticed who really work on putting their best self forward. As far as myself, I've always loved makeup, but there was a time where I was like, why am I putting time into getting ready in the morning? I don't think that I should. Maybe it's like selfish for me that I could be doing something more productive came to the realization that if I feel more confident doing my makeup and wearing makeup that I really like on myself, that I'm going to wear it. Oh, and what I've just been doing is I just use a chubby eyeshadow stick. There are a lot that I really, really love. I'll link it down below. But what I do it is I just put it all over my eyelid area like this and then usually I use my finger just to blend it out or I use a synthetic brush and this pencil isn't blending out very well. So I'm just going to take, this is a bronzer. This is also from L'Oreal True Match. This is a face powder technically that is much darker than my skin tone, obviously. I will use this as my bronzer and I'm also using this on my eyes. I put it on top of this, this eyeshadow pencil. What this is gonna do is it's going to set the pencil because the pencil is a creamy product. And I'm also swiping to blend it out. As you can see, there are still unblended parts on my eyes. So I just literally take my finger, blend it out. I 
I personally am more comfortable when there is just some type of color on my eye because I do have dark eyes, I have dark eyebrows, dark hair. So I think that if I don't wear anything and I just wear mascara, it's not that flattering for me personally. I know there's people that can get away with it. For me personally, I think that I need a little bit more. So now that the eyes are done, I know they're kind of uneven and stuff, but meh. You know, eyes are like sisters, not like twins, but you wanna make sure they're related. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of bronzer. This is the same bronzer that I used on my eyes. Use it on the perimeters of my face, you know. Sometimes if I'm really, really, really in a rush, I'll just use bronzer and then I don't use any blush, any highlighter, just get the bronzer on so I look alive and out the door. But today, I'm gonna put some blush on. This is from NYX. It's their Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer. Come on. When you're putting on blush, make sure that smile, like when you fart in public and you don't, want to pretend like it wasn't you. To concentrate the brush, like, like brush it away from the apples of your cheeks. So you don't want to like concentrate it like this. You kind of want to brush it away. And then you can pretty much just put mascara on and you would be good to go. I'm going to put some color onto my lower lash line. And this is also a brown. Keep that in mind. It's not black. It is going to be more forgiving. Now we can use mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. Well, push it up. And it's funny, but when you make YouTube videos, you kind of learn how to do things without a mirror because sometimes when your battery's dying, you just have no time to get a mirror. So you just gotta, gotta take one for the team. For my lips, I'm using a brown lip liner. This is unfortunately discontinued, it's from L'Oreal. Another comparison to this is Stripped Down by MAC. I love that one as well, would recommend it to everyone on the planet Earth. Now that you look like someone who just came from the 90s, I'm gonna use this velvet lip lacquer from MUA Cosmetics. This is a it's basically like a liquid lipstick, but it's really cheap, like literally it was like six pound, five pound from Superdrug. Freaking love this, I love this. And the secret with, with this is you want to use a little bit. So just like that. And then I spread it out with my finger. Sometimes if I feel like this is a bit too matte and too looks too dry on my lips, I take a lip cream. Is I actually got this for my cousin. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Essence Matte Matte Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Now this isn't a lip gloss, it's a lip cream. So what that is is basically it's like a lipstick in a tube. I just put it on where my lips meet, so in the center. And then I do that because I don't want it to change color. I just want there to be some type of moisture right there. <laughs> and then you're pretty much done with your makeup. Oh, and don't forget to take this off because sometimes I do and then I get dressed. There is a stain on my clothes because of this bright idea. That's just what I've been doing from living out of a little makeup bag. It's not that little, but to me it's little because I have like 3,000 makeup items. Let me know what you guys thought and how long it usually takes you guys to get ready because for me, if I'm in a rush, 10-15 minutes, but if I want to get red day, then probably like an hour or two. I'm sorry for the people that I love that I make you wait for me. But you guys have patience, so 
thank you but thank you guys so much for watching this video i have to go and don't be worried i am going to make more videos but like i said i'm not where i live i'm visiting my parents and then i was moving i'm still am moving but ugh, it's a long story let's not talk about it if you want to know more about it you can watch my previous video i did kind of mention it there and okay what am i doing i gotta go i got things to do anyway thank you guys and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.